Hey Fingsters and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick how to convert a Python list to a set. So do you have a list but you want to convert it to a Python set? So no problem, uh, the simple solution is to use a set constructor and you see as an argument you just pass an iterable which can be a list for example, it can be any other iterable like a tuple or any, anything else uh, you want. So um, for example, say you have the list uh, friends some some friends like Alice, Bob, Anne and Liz and then you may also have some duplicates like uh, another name Alice and another Bob in your list and now say you want to remove the duplicates then a, a very very sensible approach would be just to convert your list to a set using the set constructor and you can print it which results then in a duplicate free. Uh, so sorry, I have to rerun this. Okay, so which leads to a duplicate free uh, data structure. Okay, so here in the set, of course, a set is a collection of unique unordered ele uh, elements. Okay, so it's a collection. It, it has a set has multiple elements. You can iterate over a set. Um, it is unique. It has unique elements. So all elements appear at most once in the set and you cannot have duplicates in the set and it's um, yeah it's unordered so uh, this is in, in in contrast to lists the list data structure is an ordered data structure so it's more powerful than sets a list has more information than a set um, because uh, it also maintains the ordering information yeah, if you have a set you completely lose the ordering information and this is one of the reasons why sets can be more efficient for for example for membership checking and for adding new elements and uh, or removing elements um, than lists. So basically adding elements is both uh, um, constant runtime complexity but removing elements is faster for sets and um, checking membership is also faster in sets. So oftentimes uh, you want to have sets because sets are just faster even for large data set sets it's, it's much better to have sets if you can but if you need ordering information then of course you should use lists okay so in this way j just by just by converting a list to a set you can get rid of all duplicates so it's a very very good approach to uh, for duplicate removal but what happens if you like uh want to want to create a uh, the basically you want to have a list of uh, some names but you just want to remove duplicates then you could use the set constructor to get rid of all dupli duplicates and then use the list constructor again on the results on, on the resulting set to create a list data structure again so now you can uh, print this uh, variable friends2 and you see now we have exactly the same elements but stored in a list without any duplicates and um, of course this is very um, efficient it's ha it, has, it has linear runtime complexity so if you have n elements converting it to uh, converting a list to a set has uh, runtime complexity o of n so it is uh, like it has linear runtime complexity and also converting it back to a list also has o of n runtime complexity so both are um, linear runtime complexity operations so of course if you chain two linear runtime complexity operations you get another linear runtime complexity operation uh, so it's uh, quite efficient, but of course you can lose uh, the ordering of the of the elements. Yeah, this can happen. So for example, here uh, now you have um, now basically you have more or less obtain, uh, maintained the ordering of the in information, but this is just by accident. It could also happen that you that you uh, lose the ordering information. So you cannot be sure about this. Of course, by accident it can happen that you maintain the order ordering of the of the elements and sometimes oftentimes even it will even for so at mo for small for smaller lists or smaller data structures in many cases it will but if you have larger um, collections then usually converting it to a set will co lose the ordering information okay so and uh, if you want to um, preserve the order so you want to get rid of all duplicates but you want to pre preserve preserve the order of the elements and you can use the following approach I will just copy paste it here so you here you have a list of elements like with some string values Alice Bob Bob and some integer values you want to get rid of all duplicates then you can use the following function you can use dict from keys so you use the dictionary from keys operation to create a dictionary and you and um, as keys you use the the values in list 
So you use the iterable, so those are the new keys and the values are then just the none values. So it's just dummy values, which you could later overwrite, but you can also just leave them as is, okay? So you map basically, you map some key keys to, um, uh, to, uh, um, to none values. But uh, the interesting thing here is that a dictionary maintains the current implementation in Python 3.7 and plus, uh, the current implementation of the dictionary maintains the order of the elements, but it has also some very good properties of Python sets. For example, checking membership in a dictionary is constant runtime complexity compared to lists where you have to traverse the whole list. So uh, checking membership is linear run has linear runtime complexity for lists. You, you need to check the whole uh, data structure, but for a dictionary, it is basically, it has constant runtime complexity. So it's very fast as it is for sets. So in this case you have, um, uh, um, a linear runtime complexity operation to convert to convert all the elements from a, from the list to a dictionary and now you can convert it back to the list and this now will con will maintain the ordering of the elements so if you if you run this code you see we still have Alice Bob one two three Alice Bob one two three so these are we um, we keep the ordering of the element so just for fun let's check what happens if you use set instead of the instead of this. Then here you see we have lost the uh, the ordering of the uh, the ordering of the of the elements. Yeah, now we have first Alice, we have integer values one to three, and then we have the value Bob. Okay, so to remove duplicates from an uh, iterable like a list, it's better to use the dict from keys function to um, to convert the data structure to a dictionary and then convert it back to a set. Uh, it's a it's very efficient method. It's like a linear runtime complexity method for uh, removing all duplicates from a, from a data structure. And of course the, the trivial approach to, to remove all duplicates would be quadratic runtime complexity. So you check for each element, you check each other element, whether this element already is in the data structure. If it is, then you will just skip it. Otherwise you will add it to a new data structure. So this is like N times for N elements, you need to check N, uh, N other element, basically N minus one other elements. So you have N times N minus one, which is, uh, quadratic runtime complexity. So it's much more efficient to use this strategy dict from keys. And uh, yeah, just for just for fun, I will quickly give you the, the, the figure how it basically looks like. Yeah, so here we have a list with duplicates. Then we use dict from keys to create a dictionary that maps those keys to values, to none values, to some dummy values. And then we use a list um, conver conversion function to convert it back to a list. And this works beautifully. It's very efficient too. Um, okay, so then one question is what happens? So sometimes you get the, an, uh, an error message of unhashable type list. So this happens, for example, if you have the following code. Uh, you have some, you have uh, multiple, so you have a nested list, so a list of lists. And as you know, the list is a mutable data type. So you can change the list object after you have created it once. And so it's mutable, you can change it. And um, doing it, and now if you try to convert this to a set, then it will throw an error here. You, you see the error message is unhashable type list. And the reason is that you use this one, you try to use a list as an element for a set, but a list, a list can be changed later. And if you would change the list, it would change the hash value of the element. But, and as you may know, the set is implemented uh, is uh, like depends heavily on the hash function, a hash function on the set elements in order to hash it to 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 get an integer value that can be used for uh, to put it into the hash table. Um, so you don't need to know the implementation. You just need to know that uh, you need that every element you use as a set element should be hashable, and a hashable element cannot be changed. So a, hash a hashable element must be uh, immutable and lists are, are mutable, okay? So and you can resolve this issue by, issue by just replacing um, the inner lists with tuples, okay, like this. So we add uh, this uh, simple bracket to indicate that now we have tuples rather than lists and tuples you cannot change anymore, okay? So a tuple is an immutable data structure so you can, can, can convert it to a set. So if you execute this, you get rid of the error message, and we you see we have a um, we have a um, set 
of three elements and each element is a tuple value. Okay, so a tuple can be an element um, of a set. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.